Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about this question here. Now, this question is a, requires you to use a combination of algebra and calculus to solve it effectively. It's asking for us to show that s is this expression in terms of x, where x and y are related in this form here, and s is the sum of the squares of 2x and y, so 4x squared and y squared. Then using calculus, so that would be finding the value of x for which s is a minimum and justifying that the value of x gives a minimum value. So to find the value of x for which s is a minimum, we need to take the first differential, which is the gradient of s, and then make it equal to zero. So that means the point would be a stationary point. It would be flat. The gradient would be zero. And then to justify that it's a minimum, you want to take the second differential, which is the rate of change of rate of change. And if it is positive, then the graph goes like that, and it's a minimum. And if it is negative, then the graph goes like that, and it is a maximum. So we need to justify that it's a minimum by getting the, the second differential, inputting this value of x, and showing that it's positive. And finally, we need to find the minimum value of s. And to find the minimum value of s, we just put x from when the differential of is 0. We just take this x and put it into the expression s here. All right, so first, let's show that this is the case. We know that s is equal to 4x squared plus y squared. But we need to find y squared in terms of x. We know that x and y are related in the equation 2x plus y equals 13. So if we want to make y the subject of this equation, we subtract 2x from both sides. y is equal to 13 minus 2x. And we want to find y squared, so we'll square both sides. y squared is equal to 13 minus 2x times 13 minus 2x. Now I'm writing it this way so you can see that how we will need to use, like if you've heard of the rule for FOIL, or how we will need to use the distributive property FOIL to work out the product of these two. So y squared is equal to first 169, outer minus 26x, inner minus another 26x, and last, minus 2x times minus 2x, which is positive 4x squared. So if we rearrange this with the highest degree term at the bidding and we add these two together, we'll get y squared is 4x squared minus 52x plus 169. And if we, since s is equal to 4x squared plus y squared, we just add 4x squared to both sides to get that 4x squared plus y squared is 8x squared minus 52x plus 169, or that s is equal to 8x squared minus 52x plus 169. Now, since we want to find the value of x for which s is a minimum, we will want to find the first differential of s, so that's ds over dx. So the differential of 8x squared is 2 times 8, and then in increment the power down by 1. So this would be 16x, and then the differential of minus 52x is just minus 52. And of course, plus 169, that's a constant, so the differential is 0. This first differential is 16x minus 52. And since we want to find the stationary point, let's let this be equal to 0. So ds dx is equal to 0. 16x minus 52 is equal to 0. Add 52 to both sides. 16x equals 52. Now, just to make this easier, I see that we can divide both sides by 4, so we'll let's do that now before we get a messy fraction. 4x is equal to 13. x is equal to 13 over 4. So this is our answer for the value of x, which makes d 
ds over dx a minimum. Now, we want to justify that this is a minimum. And to do this, we can take the second differential. So it's the differential of this. So it's like d ds over dx by dx again, which is just like d squared s over dx squared. And the differential of 16x will just be 16. And the differential of minus 52, since it's a constant, it will just be 0. So since d squared s over dx squared is 16 at any given point, any given point whatsoever, and this is greater than 0, so therefore it is a minimum. You'll need to write that it is greater than 0, and therefore this is a minimum, to get a mark for justifying. Now, finally, we'll want to find the minimum value of s. Now, since we know when s is a minimum, x is equal to 13 over 4. So we can put this value of x back into the expression for x, for s. So you want s where x is equal to 13 over 4. times 13 over 4 squared plus or rather minus my bad minus 52 times 13 over 4 plus 169 uh, now my radar is going off that this is just equivalent to 169 why is that because you cancel out these and you get this is 13 because You've taken the 1 over 4 from here, and multiplied it by this to get 13, and now this is just a regular 13, so it's minus 169, because it's minus 13 times 13, and plus 169 again. And this is just like 169 over 16, because that's the way it is squared, and you'll get 169 over 2. Now, since these two cancel out, these two are equal to 0. You'll get 169 over 2 is your value is your minimum value of s. All right, so now let's scroll down to the mark scheme and see if we are correct. So just to, just to re-clarify, our minimum value of x, 13 over 4, justified it was a minimum by taking the second differential and saying that it was greater than 0. We proved that s was equal to this expression by the fact that it's 4x squared and y squared, and y squared is the square of 13 minus 2x, as denoted by the equation here. And we worked out the minimum value of, x, uh, value of s for the value of s when x is equal to to 13 over 4, because that is the value we got here. All right, let's see if we are correct. All right, so the mark scheme is, oh, that's another question. Where are we at? All oh, right, it's here, it's here. The mark scheme is here. This, this half of the paper. So this is question 5a. We rearrange this formula to get y as the subject. y is 13 minus 2x. s is 4x squared plus the square of 13 minus 2x. And we did this evaluation here, and we got 8x squared minus 52x plus 169. So that is a big tick for us. Secondly, we took the differential of this, 16x minus 52. And when this is 0, 16x minus 52 is 0, x is 13 over 4. We got that. Yep. And to justify, we take the second differential to be 16. And since it's positive, it's a minimum. So we get a mark for that. Hence minimum. Yes, this is all correct. And finally, we just did the evaluation here. 8 times the square of 13 over 4 minus 52 times 13 over 4 plus 169. And that's just this. 
So overall, 9 marks. Alright, thank you for watching.